Yeah, yeah, here I am. It's uh, welcome back to the grind here. So I brought the uh, Volkswagen. Maybe you notice that. Brought the Volkswagen into the shop because I wanted to uh, do a few things to it, which I have now accomplished about half of them. Anyhow, put a new wind, put a new mirror on there. Then I wanted to get the the uh, seat belts in, but I haven't done that, done that yet. And I wanted to change this this thing here because it was uh, that one there when I got new ones they didn't send me they sent a defective one and so then they resent the uh, the good one this is on the rocker for the valves the rocker adjuster for the valves so anyway that's done now another thing there's a oil leak in the transmission of some sort and it's intermittent so I don't know hmm don't know what to make of that for now but I want to take off I haven't done it yet but I want to take off the uh, cover on the governor and actually I've got a proper seal for that right in this box here and I'll put that in and see if that solves some of the issue then what else is going on then I'm then I did a lot of time getting the wheel alignment right and wrong mostly wrong and now it's right so there we are most of this is all about wheel alignment and using the laser and using the strings and everything like that so anyway i think i've got it right now and i'm kind of happy with it so there we go i'll leave that for that today and then i'll carry on i'll do some more work on it later uh, with those other tasks that i was talking about but for the most part the uh, wheel alignment what this is all about see you later Yeah, here I am. It's a nice sunny day out here today. Now, I've been working for the last week or so on this thing here, but that's about as far as it's going to get until I get the truck here, I think. I might take some boards and see if I can fit the boards to it. But that's not, not today. It's too hot outside. So, then I was thinking about what should I do? I can go back to work on the uh, Frankenhover here. But, I'll leave that sit for a little bit and uh, I think we'll have a, a VW interlude, hey? A Vanagon interlude. I'll see if I can get that into, this, into the shop here. There's a couple of things I wanted to do. One of the things is the, uh, the transmission on the, what do you call that thing? There's a governor on the automatic transmission. It's got a cover over it that hasn't, I haven't been satisfied with, but I've got a seal for it from the uh, Go Westy guys. And I know that it's been leaking because here's the evidence on the floor right here. And so I'll bring it into that shop, put it on the lift, see if I can get that off. And there, I'll give you a better view. It's pretty hot and squinty in the sun there. Wait, I'll just zoom it in a bit. There we are. Anyhow, I'll, I'll see if I can get that into the shop and uh, then I'll put it up on the lift and get that piece off. I also got a rear view mirror for the interior because I ruined the one that was in there when I took it out. Mind you, it wasn't, it was pretty well, the mirror part wasn't very good anyhow. And then I'll put that in and I think I'll put the seat belts in. Then it might be okay to uh, take it for inspection. And then if I get it inspected, then hmm, I can put a plate on it and do stuff. Anyway, there you go. All right, that's, I'll show you when I get it in there. There it is, back in. So now, the uh, like what I did was, I finally figured out how come I couldn't get the idle to work because the return spring on it isn't as strong as, it's not, not pulling the throttle back all the way. So I'll have to get a, I'll put a spring on there. Don't know what it needs for a spring. Anyhow, that's later. And it seems to be there's some stuff smoking off the motor, but I'm pretty sure that's just a little bit of extra oil that got on some bits. We'll just, I don't see it dripping anywhere underneath there. I'll take a look and see. 
No, I don't see anything dripping. So it's just the oil burning off. Finally, it's hot enough to burn off some stuff. I drove it around back and forth. See, there's smoke coming up from somewhere there. Right down there, I see it. Well, that's coming out of the <laughs> coming out of the exhaust thing here. Wait a sec, I'll show you. See right there? That's the heater where the heater is. I don't know. Yeah, you can see that. See the smoke coming out of there, and that's smoke coming out of this thing here, which is finally got hot enough to burn the smoke off of it. But that'll be that would have been. In the old days, that would have been just a nice smell inside the car because that was full of yuck and dirt when I took it apart originally. Now I'm going to take that out of the system. I'm not going to use that as a heating system in here. So we'll just, I'll think about how to get that thing cleaned out. Anyway, there'll be a little while before that smoke all clears up, I think. Don't know if the other side is smoking the same or not. We'll just see. Oh yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like it. Can't really see as well on this side. Yeah, right here maybe. Yeah, you can see where the smoke's coming up out of it. So that's that's a good thing or a bad thing or an in-between thing. It doesn't doesn't. It's a not a matter thing because that's the way. That old smoke there coming out of there. Okay, well I'll put it up on the hoist and then I'll. See about the bits I want to put on it. Maybe first I'll put in the low hanging fruit. I'll put the. Uh, here's what I need. Here's what I want to do. I can't say need. Here's what I want to do. I want to put this down. Okay? But I'll do that in a minute without the camera on it. So I want to. Uh, number one, or number two, or number ten. Put this. I got a rear view mirror. It goes right there, which is nice to have. Then number three or four is the um, transmission governor thing that I was talking about. And then number five is, uh, or, you know, number three. I've got, remember a long, long time ago, I don't know if you remember this, but a long, long time ago, the uh, Go Westy people, they sent me a bunch of parts. I'll show you here. Hang on. In here, right? Let's see what sort of stuff first to do. Yeah. Anyway, but in here, see that bit there? That's a uh, lifter thing for the uh, oh, for the valve lifting. On, I got eight new ones of these, but one of them came. See, this has got a slotted end on it. Wait a sec, I'll show you. See the slotted end on there? That's for uh, adjusting it. And this end here is supposed to go on the valve, hit the valve and, and push the valve in. So I got eight of these because it's four cylinder, right? And seven of them were good, but one of them had the screw thing here instead of here. So I sent them a picture of it and they happily sent me a new one, but I have to now take it apart and put in said new piece which I'll get to on this round okay that's all for the babbling I'll carry on yeah so there's the new rear view mirror quite nice and clean you can see yourself in it right so and the uh, <laughs> when I was taking it apart I didn't know how they came apart it goes right in that little hole right up there and you just turn it sideways, push it up, turn it this way, and it's in. And you can do that to undo it also. But when I undid it, I just uh, ravaged it out with a little bit of violence, which the old one was not much good anyhow, but I figured that I didn't know how to do it. But there's how you do it. You put it in gently, and I'll show you. See if I can do this without breaking anything. Is that looking in the right way? Up here somewhere? Right there? Yeah. Okay, I'll see if I can get in here past you. Volkswagen vans have so many doors. Hey, you can get in anywhere. So I think you just 
turn it sideways like that, and then turn it around. That's easier said than done, but. Hmm. missing here. It wants to look that way, right? Maybe it's got to look this way. That's how it's supposed to be. Okay, that makes more sense. That's pretty simple. There. Just put it in the right way and it works. So there, that just goes in and snaps into place and then then it's got a rear view mirror, which is quite handy, and it's even got night vision. Woo, that's pretty sophisticated, like it's got the thing for flipping the night vision on. Anyway, that was simple, wasn't it? So there, that's in. The windshield is all in. I think that, and then if I put, oh, another thing on the list is seat belts. I'll put the seat belts back into it so that it's uh, inspection worthy. I think I'll be taking tape off of this car forever. Anyway, there we go. I'll catch up with you on the next bit. Well, there. I haven't got very far. <laughs> Except that light comes right up next to the car there. Hey, so uh, the I was up underneath here looking at all this stuff. Everything underneath here that I haven't done yet. This is a, the heating system. Goes into there. And so I'll, I'll, it's got a gas heater, so I'll stick that all back in. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I don't think it has very many hours on it anyhow. This, that's a uh, bunch of ground wires for the heating system. Used to be hooked on right there, so I'll see if I can fix that up, right? This is where the gas pump goes for the heater. I'll get that fixed up. The heater sits on rubber mounts. One there, uh, one back here somewhere. One there and one there. So I'll get that fixed up. But for in the meantime, and then while I was underneath here, I was checking to see where, and the transmission fluid is leaking right out of this thing here, which indicates that it's the uh, the seal on the, which I did replace, the seal on the uh, thrust converter thing, whatever that is. What do you call that thrust converter thing? That I can never seem to remember the name of? Hmm. Anyway, but the seal on that seems to be leaking, so I'm going to just ignore it for a while. And I will, however, go up and fix the seal on this thing here, because I didn't even know there was supposed to be a seal there. And I put some uh, gasket goop in there, but what I'll do, and I bet you there's a seal sitting in there from before, so I'll take it apart, make sure that this thing here isn't leaking, and uh, have another go at that, which isn't too tough to do. Anyway, but first, I'll let it down and I'll, I'm going to line up the wheels. Do a wheel alignment on it so that it's pointing the right way and then tighten up the tie rod ends, which is a good idea. Look at that, more tape. Tape everywhere you look. Everywhere you look, there's tape. Tape, 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 tape. And I don't know what this is. Plastic. Okay, that's out of there. Wet plastic from the rain. Okay, so down it comes in a second here, and then we'll uh, work on getting the wheels aligned. I don't know, oops, I don't know if any of you have seen me do this wheel alignment stuff before, but yeah, yeah, sometimes the camera just quits because it thinks I've told it to quit. Anyhow, but so I use a fishing line, I put a post back there and then a post up here, and a fishing line, then you measure from right here on the wheel and right here on the wheel and toe in is about half a millimeter give or take a bit and, if, and then I'll at the same time I'll straighten out this so that the steering wheel is pointing in the right way because the point is obviously pointing in the wrong way and we'll see what happens from there like that's where it wants to be for a centered steering wheel but that's quite a bit of a turn on there, eh? 
and I can't get that way up. But I want to get, I'll get as straight as I can on this wheel, and because this one here is harder to uh, adjust than the other wheel. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there, I've got all set to do the wheel alignment. I built these little stands here. So it so happens that the center of the wheel is a foot off the uh, ground. So I put these at a foot off the ground right there. And then I just use a thread. Like usually I use fishing line, but I can't find my fishing line today. And well, I got a whole boat full of fishing line, but there's a wasp nest back there. So that's the way that is. So you see the distance right here between the hubcap and, and that. I want the same distance here, there, and there. So this one here has just got to move in a tiny bit, right? And then I'll measure it just by eyeballing that. I can see that. So around about there is a, about the same. Yeah, that's about the same, but I'll just check it with the measuring device. So then looking at the right place there but there is 5.72 millimeters to the center of the of, of the hubcap there which is pretty easy to see where the center of that is That's 6.84 millimeters, so it's got to be just moved in a little tiny bit here. You only move it in part of the distance because the rest of the distance will be looked after on the front of it. That's about 1.93 there, so back out a bit. Once you get these things set, they're all right. But if you kick them, no good. See? And then it's on inches, of course. 6.13 millimeters there. And here... Five point nine nine. I think I can live with that. So this side here, that's a parallel line from wheel to wheel now. So I'll set up the other side the same idea. Won't be the exact same measurement, but it'll be the same idea. Got to got to press the button to make it record. Okay, so this one here is set up the same. This is the driver's side. Now you see where the steering wheel is there now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this wheel here straight with like it should have a half a millimeter of toe in on each side but I'm gonna try and get it to uh, like a fairly straight wheel then I'll do the adjusting on the other side because this one here the adjuster nut isn't as good it's easy to move as the other side is so here I'll show you Let's set the camera up here is that pointing the right way yeah okay so then same idea to the rim of the wheel like that'll be about the center, right? And to the rim of the wheel. Just where you see the, the thread start to move a little bit. 41.66 millimeters there and this side here Forty-seven millimeters. So I'm gonna turn the wheel a tiny bit that way so that it makes it straight. 
see what happens now. Forty two point four six. That's the same. So that's straight, that wheel. So now, see where the steering wheel sits? I have to pull the steering wheel off and just turn it so that it's sitting straight there. But that's a straight wheel right now. I'm not going to change that wheel. So then it takes a bunch because when I'll change the other side over here, which I'll change with the screw, I think. Well, we'll see. It might be maybe I'm just lucky and it's lined up. But uh, I'll change this with the uh, the alignment screw on the inside there, and then you have to go back and forth and back and forth because they won't be the way that the tires like when this one moves, the other tire will move a little bit too. So we'll just try and get it to be as straight as possible anyhow it's a lot of back and forth so i'll just carry on i'll show you when i'm done there that recorded a whole bunch of me just doing nothing and anyway i'm pretty close to it now so the the sequence is you adjust this side right you go to the other side make that wheel straight then come back to this side and 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 adjust it again if, if needed i think we're pretty close to right though from that I've been back and forth about you know umpteen times and I'll just show you what's going on here now oh what a up and down up and down what happened there that seems to have dropped I must have hmm must have kicked that because this thing here has dropped couldn't possibly have kicked it could I yeah I could have that's better and looks about the same okay i think we're all right for that oh. so don't kick your stuff out of the way right right there it touches uh, back to inches there 46.57 That seems to be about straight there, 46.57.55. Okay, so now, as long as I don't kick this again, it might be all right. Now this side here, we're going to measure it up, and it should be, I want one millimeter of toe in here. Like the, uh, it's, it's kind of funny, they say it's one millimeter of toe in plus or minus a millimeter, right? So that's a bit difficult to get just right. 43.33 46 so we've got oh I better go double check on the other side anyway I'll get back to you when I get it closer yeah, there. I think I finally got it licked here. I was going the wrong way, of course. You always screw the things going the wrong way on the tie rod ends there. So this one here... Forty-four point five, right? And... Forty-four point eight. So that's 0.3 pointing out. So then the other side is 
here first, right? Forty six point two. Forty four point six. So that's forty six. That's one and a half pointing in and point three, take away point three. So it's about a millimeter pointing in across both of them, which is about as close as I'm ever going to get it doing this. So now I'll tighten those screws and uh, I'll just show you where. Hang on. Oh, there. That's an ordeal. Hang on. Oh, here I am. You get to look at my face. So underneath here, I'm not going to change those things there yet. I'll leave those strings alone. But underneath there, you see, oh, can you see way back there? I can't see. I can't see. So surely you can't see. Light's pretty poor right here. But there's the tie rod end. And there's a nut on it that you can tighten up there. I think that poor lighting, hey? Hmm. Don't have my phone, so I can't turn on a flashlight. Hang on, I'll get closer and put my finger on it, right? Oh yeah, there. Oh, you can see it there now. So this is the tie rod end here, up to there, right? Back off, Lauren. Back out, and then right here, this is the the shaft into the rack and pinion stuff. And then this is a, the locking nut here. So then this is how you adjust it. You just turn this shaft back and forth, back and forth until you finally figure it out it's right. And then now I'll have to hold this shaft straight and then tighten that nut onto there and that locks it in place. So I should have brought my wrenches with me because I could have done it while I was here, but no, I didn't. Okay, I'll get out here and I'll get my wrenches and I'll tighten that up. Okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah, there, that's enough for today. So a couple of the neighbors came by and dragged me home for a beer, dragged me away for a beer, so that's okay. Can't complain about that. And uh, Chuck and Charlotte. And Chuck, uh, Charlotte is a regular watcher. So here you go, Charlotte. This is what you dragged me away from, Hey, eh? Pretty exciting. Anyway, the uh, I've got the wheels, front wheels are aligned to my satisfaction. There's a boat. A millimeter or a half a millimeter of toe in which is what they're supposed to be now tomorrow I'll straighten out the wheel so it's pointing the right way and then I'm gonna just check the back also and see how like they should be a little bit of a toe in on the back I'm not really sure how much but I'll just check it and see what see what I can do with that and don't know for sure how to adjust it there's a couple of a couple of bolts down in here that you undo to push it around a bit anyway later so that's good for today and uh, tomorrow I'll get the wheel straightened out but I did get the mirrors in there and and uh, things are looking pretty good so I'll see you tomorrow I hope bye for now yeah here I am back at it now last night when I left rather abruptly hey the, um, I was just getting this thing finished up, but I'll, what happened was I was, I get things backwards and upside down. It should be toe in. So the number on the front should be bigger than the number in the back when it's towing in. And then when I tightened up all the linkages down there, it, it sucked everything together and tightened things up. And so that made another millimeter of difference in it. So I had to loosen it off and readjust the, uh, tie rod end and then tried it again I think I have it right now but I'm gonna double check because you know I get things backwards all the time so here I'll just show you if I can find my gear wait a second here's my measuring device right here right? okay so now you're looking in the right place yeah so I'm gonna check The back this distance here forty four point two eight millimeters forty 
45.29 so that's a millimeter looking with out out pointing outward so on the other side I'll go over there right <coughs> excuse me so it's one millimeter with uh, outward pointing so this side here I need this to be <coughs> a bigger number for a toe in right Forty-five point three nine. Sometimes it's very difficult to. There. Forty-seven point three six. So that's two millimeters bigger here than it is here so that means and it's take away the one millimeter so it's got a millimeter of toe in I think I got it right yay one millimeter of toe in now I'm going to check the back wheels and see how they line up then I'll do the then I'll straighten out the steering wheel so it's going the right way so the back wheels are and then I'll think about what to do about the back wheels later but not not too worried about them they sort of follow along forty two point one five right there forty five point eight seven let me see try that again Forty two point four one and forty six. So that's a four millimeter in step. Now there's a bolt in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right back there. I can loosen that bolt and then I'd have to push the whole bracket a little bit that way to make this instep properly. So I'll like to do that, but not right away. I'll show you later when I get to it. Now this one here, I'll just check on this side here and see how this side is. Because when I was putting them together in there, I was just guessing at it, right? Good guess. But not a perfect guess. Forty five point one five. And forty eight. So three millimeters in step that way. They're both in step, which is good. That makes it follow easier but they're about two millimeters too big each one of them so that'll, oh, I can fix that that's that's good I can I can I can handle that I have to just make the bottom back go in a bit so I have to just pull the front around so that's something we can do but first now I'm happy with the front end so I'll straighten out the wheel I just have to take the wheel off and straighten it out I'll show you that Give me a minute here. Yeah, there, that comes off right like that. And then this bolt here comes off of here. And then you can pull the wheel off and turn it. So I'll look, I'll get onto that right about now. That looks like a great big bolt. Hmm. Yeah, so there's the big bolt. It comes off of there, right? And then I'll just set up the camera here so you can see what I'm doing. Maybe. Then I'll just pull the wheel off, turn it so that it's horizontal the way it's supposed to look, like about there. I'm calling that 
not pretty good right there. This part here, when you pull this off, it just you sort of just press it down a bit that way, and then it un unhooks these clipsy, clippy things there. And then there's just two uh, electric things. These are for the horn. So now I'll put this uh, bolt back on, and uh, there you go. Done deal. Yeah, there now I'm going to try and set up the rear wheel here. So this thing here, I've got that laser so that it's pointing parallel to the car. And I was able to set that up just by going, like, measuring from the wheel. See where the little red line is on my hand there? Measuring from the wheel out. And the same thing on the front. Actually, I went to the top of the wheel in case there was a little bit of a turn in the wheel. So I went right here on, on this one. I don't know if you can see there. Yeah, you can see a little bit of a red line there. And then I went on top of the wheel here. So in case that front wheel is turned a bit, then, you know. So that should give it parallel to the car. And now I'll measure with this thing here. There we go, that's 75.09 millimeters. And on this side here, come on. Seventy six point four three. So seventy nine and seventy six, that's about three millimeters, which what was what I measured before. Now I'll go underneath in here loosen that bolt up there and see if I can just adjust it so if I pull that side forward then that's going to make this come out right yes okay I'll just check that out and see what happens if I get this side done I'll do the other side just got to get a couple of wrenches and I'll get at it yeah, so here's the specifications for it to wheel alignment data for front and rear axles. So toe, toe in for the, like the wheels is 20, 10 minutes, like 10 minutes, which is one ten sixtieth of a degree, plus or minus 15 minutes. So that says straight, right? A little bit toe in. So I put a millimeter in, which is good enough. So, you know, it doesn't, kind of a funny thing. And then the rear wheel is, this thing half load, we'll go half load here. 10 minutes, plus or minus 10 minutes. So, straight. So you can have as straight as possible, I think, on this, because it's a plus 10. So does that mean, yeah, plus 10 toe in. So this is toe in, plus 10. So it goes in by 10 minutes. So that's about, a, like, I did the ciphering on that a long time ago, and it comes out to about a millimeter across the wheel. I can do the ciphering again, but, you know, a millimeter, a millimeter or a half a millimeter <coughs> across the wheel. So both wheels, toe in per wheel is 10 minutes. So toe in per wheel. So the total is 10, 20 minutes, toe in per for the front end, plus or minus 30 minutes, right? So basically straight. I don't know, can you read on that? There you are. And then the same thing down here, it's plus, it's 10 minutes, plus or minus 10 minutes. So basically straight, a little bit of tiny bit of toe in. So I'll put a millimeter or a half a millimeter if I can per wheel on the back and uh, see what we can go with that. Yeah, yeah, so here's the camber also. So half load, which would be normal around here, 15, to 15 minutes to 30 minutes. So that's about a, you know, just about a millimeter of, I'll do the math on it, but I think that's just about a millimeter of, across the wheel, it's about a millimeter of toe in, or a camber in, you know, bank angle. So you adjust the camber on the top, right up here, on this thing here, which I can do pretty easily. So I'll, I'll also adjust the camber on this thing, which won't be too tough to do. I'll see what I can, might as well get it all done. And 
Then I'll get the back back end. It doesn't. It says camber. There is camber 50 minutes plus or minus 30 minutes. So I'll check that, but I don't know how to adjust it. Well, maybe if I read the book, I'll figure out how to adjust it. All right. So I, I didn't do the setting for the uh, for the center properly, but I'll just check and see if it made it there by accident. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there now you just loosen off on these. Can you see that? I don't know, got a light here. Loosen off on that bolt that goes through on the inside, and it allows it to go back and forth for adjusting the camber then you loosen off on that bolt and it allows it to go up and down a bit. But right now, I've done that and I've pushed it, like I just pulled on the wheel back here and pushed that ahead and then tightened it up. And don't you know, I guess just right, so it's in the right spot. Hmm, what do you know? Oh, here I am. <laughs> Getting it set up here. So now, you see where... I'm on this side of the wheel here, right? And you see a little tiny bit of red, just the way the red just touches the edge of that thing, right? Right there. 78.14 millimeters. Then you come to this side here and just get the same amount of red touching. 77.81. So it's just a little tiny bit of toe-in, which is what it wants to be. And now I'm going to lay it down, let it down on the ground, check it again, then I'll if I'm happy with it, I'll go and do the other side. Yeah, so now here I am. After all that adjusting, I put some weight, the weight on it, and it's still a, a millimeter too far in now at the front. And the, the camber adjustment, which is this way here, is out by a significant amount. So I'll see if I can adjust that when I get it up. It's got a, it's right now it's like, I don't know, can you go in this, go in this, the out, the bottom is farther out than the top. And so I can drop that bolt there, loosen that bolt and drop it down and then that'll cure that, I hope, while I get closer to the reel. Anyway, that's this side, carrying on. Yes. Here, yeah, yeah, loyal fans, <laughs> Rhonda and Gus came over and make sure I'm doing things right. Yeah, on the Volkswagen. Yeah, it all looks good. It all Great. looks good, yeah. Well, we got uh, an official, all looks good from him. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right now, now, hmm, right now, now, here I have, I still have the, the laser thing going, right? And I've got it this way to this way is zero, no, not going in, not going out, it's zero. So, now I'll go ahead and uh, see if I can adjust this to make it, I think I needed to go up a bit on it. I'll see what I can come up with here. That one might be a bit difficult to get that to go up. I'll just, I'll figure it out. Yeah, so there now, I've got it this way adjusted right. It's within, you know, like it's got about a half a millimeter toe in which is well within the specifications over on the book. As far as the uh, camber goes, I've adjusted this down as far as it goes. Down. Hmm, maybe I got it backwards. Wait a minute until I think about this. You know, I always get things backwards, eh? I'll just remeasure that and see. Yeah, so there's no load in it, so I don't know whether I've got to take a look at a different adjustment here. Camber. Empty. Minus. Oh, okay. Plus or minus. 50 minutes, plus or minus 30 seconds. So, got to recipher on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, all that ciphering and all that silliness so this thing here that's different than the other side but that's all right it's supposed to be 10 millimeters if it's 
in 10 millimeters from the top from here to here that gives it an angular difference of 1.5 degrees which is within specifications on this thing here so like be somewhere between one and a half degrees plus or minus 30 for half a load so oh I had it right all the time and I just was doing math wrong because I was taking this like a 38 this is 38 the tires are 15 inch or 38 centimeters right and so I was taking the uh, 38 centimeters divided 38 millimeters divided by 30 by 10 or 10 millimeters divided by 38 millimeters and then the uh, tangent of that sort of business or the arc tangent of that and gives you the degrees right but it's 380 millimeters 10 to 10 divided by 380 arc tangent and then that gives you 1.5 degrees which is the answer that I've been looking at all the time oh dear and that that had me going around in circles but anyway I just I'm happy with it now then it's right I only accidentally have it right so that's good enough so I've got my helper here and he's <laughs> he's quite happily chewing on a toothbrush that he found on the floor so I guess I guess you can do your teeth doggy I'm going to go ahead and get in here I need some light up here we'll get some light oh I'll get some light and then I'll get the camera going because it's just not working out there now I want to take this off so the way that easiest way is just to pry this out of its thing here like that and then it loosens everything off and you can get get that right out of the way and hang it on the exhaust doggy you're just not helping me no you're not helping me then this pops right off of here we hope yeah, there we go and there's all the lifters and this looks like it's all okay anyhow so where am i that smells doesn't it doggy you don't like that smell here have your have your a nice toothbrush eh? here brush your teeth no don't want to do that okay there anyhow this is the one here that i have to change to the new so uh, I'll get that I think it's a 9 16 wrench on there and a screwdriver that's pretty simple but first now I have to turn the motor over to get that thing in its right position hmm forgot about that hang on I gotta do that Yeah, so here, I don't know if you've seen me do this before, but I've got all these markings in here. There's, let's see, uh, on the back there's a, of the pulley, there's a, a notch there. Where is it? Oh, this is the upside down side. So the notch is on the other side. Anyhow, this is bottom dead center here, and it's got a mark line up with right here for top dead. This is top dead center. That's seven and a half before, I do believe. I'll get my light and check it out because hmm what happened to my thing I thought I put a in fact I did put a plastic thing on there but it's disappeared already huh wonder what happened to that it must have just got caught in something and went away into the to wherever it goes that's too bad must have got caught in the uh, I don't know what caught it but anyway used to have one of those degree markers on there but it's gone oh well anyway there's top dead center right there and so now I've got to uh, I've got this Volkswagen special tool number umpteen and eleven which is I built and it fits into the little there's a slot there's a slot in there so you don't put pressure on the uh, bolt that's holding the uh, pulley on the crankcase here huh? or you know that don't want to break that because it's only just a little bolt that one yeah I wonder what ever happened to that thing oh well I guess things don't last very long anyhow there that's pointing towards cylinder number two yeah one two which is the one I have to change 
and it's at bottom top dead center for cylinder number two based on these things here which is good then you go ahead and uh, I'll get the part and put it on there and then we'll adjust it yeah yeah so there's the uh, old one and the new one the old one's kind of bashed up here and the new one's looking pretty pretty okay they're about the same length it's the new ones are just a tiny tiny bit shorter than the old one I don't know why but that's how it is so now it goes there's the valve that right there that needs it I'll just put it on there and then I'll show you how to adjust it yeah so here now oh boy oh boy this is here's the I can't see anything here you hear this Hear that that's just a little bit of slack in it right so now I need to do that You turn this in until it just touches. I can feel the tension there, right there, where it just touches. Then it goes two full turns past that, and that preloads the hydraulic lifter. So there's a half, there's one, there's a half. Oops. That thing here got jammed up against it, right? So. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And that's two right there. Right about, right about there. And that, and that preloads the hydraulic lifters, and uh, it's a happy system. So that's all those valves. I did the rest of them here not too long ago. I'm going to run it for a while, and then I'll do it again. And now the doggy's got a roll of duct tape. I think it is. I don't know how he finds that stuff on the ground because I can't find it. Hey? Oh well, there you go. Now next is uh, I just have to tighten up this lock, the lock nut right here. That just gets tightened up with your wrench. And it, generally that screw won't move any because it's pretty tight against the uh, the thing there. There, and that's tight. Now, after that, then the uh, cover goes back on, and that job is complete. Yeah, that's enough for today. Never did get to the seatbelt part, but I'll get there. That's coming. And the wiring to the back of the van, I've got to do that also. I don't know what wires are there. The light wires seem to go through the bottom. These wires are all or in the inside somehow or other. Don't know what they're for. Anyhow. Oh, the doggy's getting my good screwdriver. I can't have my good screwdriver. Or the wrench. Those are mine. So are these. Yeah. You're a menace. Anyway, that being said, there's enough for the day and I'll come back at it again tomorrow I guess yeah yeah here I am back at <laughs> back at wheel alignment boy oh boy I get things backwards and upside down all the time so anyway the uh, now yesterday as I was going through editing I noticed that these things are in by about two millimeters too far but I'm gonna just check that with my mathematics here because I got finally figured out my mathematics on this thing here so toe in per wheel like uh, 10 to 15 minutes, right? Per wheel, 10 to 15 minutes. So I'll just check the math on that and I'll get back to you. So yeah, so based on these numbers here, 10 to 15 minutes, it's, what is it? 1.65 millimeters per wheel. So that'd be like three millimeters total. And I think that's what I have. I'll, I'll check my video, I'll check back on the video and see. And if that's what I have, I'm gonna be happy with it. And now on the camber, like I don't know how to set this caster, but I can set the camber, which is plus or minus half a degree, but mostly it's zero. So right now I've measured this and the top is oh, 114 millimeters and the bottom is 108 millimeters. So it's like four six millimeters in on the bottom so I can take and 
this one here is an easy adjustment because you just go in here and loosen those bolts and turn the thing and it'll it'll make a difference we'll just see what happens yeah there you can see this is where you adjust it see that little white line on there that's where I set it up originally in the middle and then you just turn this this, this will turn well one way or the other now it won't turn that way anymore because I've hit the limit but there's what it does eh? it goes back and forth there and, and it's an, on an eccentric thing so you just have to adjust it now to adjust this wheel here right to the right to there it goes and then on here I don't know if you can see this stuff what am I doing here anyhow this one here at the top is 103 and at the bottom it's 100 so the three millimeters and the bottom is out a bit right three millimeters towing out but I think that's within specifications for the thing so I'll let that be happy with that okay yeah so there, there's the laser light thing right and now I've measured this one. I torqued it up it torques up to 75 nanometers or 54 foot pounds right so I torqued it to 54 foot pounds checked it again and the bottom is in by two millimeters which was like it's uh angular distance is plus or minus 30 minutes so two millimeters wait i'll do the math and i'll check and i'll tell you what that is yeah so two millimeters over 380 millimeters makes uh 18 minutes so that like cipher it up and divide by 60 is 18 minutes and the correction is zero plus or minus 30 minutes so i'm happy with the 18 minutes good that's camber's right on that one and i'll get the camber done on the other side yeah yeah so here i am i'm gonna get the caster measured now right so i've got that red line going right in the middle of the axle here which should correspond to everything being centered this thing here you can't see anything up there right see the top of the uh, top of the oh top of the shock absorber that should be the center along with this center here I would think so now I've measured see where the little X is up here so from there to there at uh, like 380 millimeters from the center to the top 380 millimeters and then I measured across the distance from there to that line and that came out as whatever it was so I did the math and it turned into six degrees and maybe 15 seconds right so it should be seven degrees so then to do that you got to go right on those nuts there you just pull that in a bit so then that means i have to realign the wheels and realign the uh camber because I've, it says you got to do this first camber next and tow in I wait till i check this thing out it says the order of work work sequence caster Tow in. Yeah, caster first and then tow in and camber. Caster, camber, and then tow in. So I've got the work sequence all wrong. So, you know, I love doing things a hundred times, but I might as well get it right, eh? So I will this time. I'll adjust the caster, which is angle like this, so that the wheel, you know, when you let go of the wheel, it'll return to center. Then I'll readjust the camber, which is angled like that. 
which I figured out how to do, and then I'll readjust the uh, whatever you call that, the toe in business. So that's that would be the sequence of work. So I'll, I'll, you've seen me do all that, but I'll show you the results when I get finished. Okay? Yeah, there I've measured and and uh, done stuff and measured and done stuff. So um, underneath here, I'll show you. Actually, getting pretty close. You can see the lines there that I use for measuring. So this big, big, big bolt here, you loosen and loosen off that side there and loosen off that side there and then that pulls the wheel the camber this way so you get more camber so I've got it at 7.6 now it was at 6.01 like six degrees basically right on when I started now I've pulled it a whole degree and a half so I've pulled it too far I've got to put it back a half a degree so that's not too tough to do I'll do that Yeah, there, now, I used that thing here for measuring across there. I don't know, you can see from the center. So I had to put it on the 50 mark. Wait, I'll get some light up there. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Too many hands, not enough, not enough me. Oh, out well, there, can you see that now? So I put the 50 mark on the center there, right? And then the little red line is at 97. You can't really see it there. So that's 47 millimeters from the center here to the uh, this thing straight up and down. So that, and then 47 millimeters, and I think it was 381 millimeters this way. And you just do the math on that and it comes out to 6.75 or something like that degrees. Wait a second. 6.87 and another one I measured it another time was 7.05. So I'm 7 degrees plus or minus 15 seconds, 15 minutes, right? So that's good. I'll tighten that down. Then I'll readjust the camber on it. I'll go to the other side, do the same stuff. And, uh, then we'll see where we go from there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so that uh, straightening out the caster adjustment, which is angular this way, right? Then it made the camber adjustment, pulled it in so that it's it's exactly right now, zero, top to bottom, with uh, no load. So that's good, I'm happy with that. Now I'll get the other side done, and then I'll go after checking the toe in once again. And maybe the tow wind will just lucky out and be right. You never know. Okay. Well, I got lucky on the other side because the camber is, or the caster is at 6.87, uh, which is 7 degrees plus or minus 15 minutes. 15 is 0.25, right? Of a degree. I think that's right. Wait a minute. What's 15 divided by 16? Yeah, 15 is 0.25 of a degree. So I'm within, you know, a tenth of a degree. So I'm happy with that. 0 0.13, 0 0.13 to 0 0.1, 0 0.08 to, point, to 0 0.13, depending on, you know, just exactly where you measure from. And I'm happy with that. So that's seven degrees, give or take a bit. Now I'll get the camber which is zero degrees should be and I'll get that measured up on the other side yeah just lucky on the other side it's 18 minutes so I've got uh, you know it's within within specifications plus or minus 30 minutes so 18 minutes which is two millimeters across the whole thing now to get the toe end happening right it shows toe in per wheel is 10 to 15 minutes. So I'll just figure that out. Yeah, so total toe in should be two to three millimeters on the like on the whole on the whole front end. That's with the any error that's in, included in it. 
So I figured that out. It's a 15 inch wheel, so that's 380 millimeters, and then 0.1 angle, 10, a 10 minute angle, take the oh, tangent or the cosine or the sine. Cosine, actually, I used tangent, which is okay because that gives it the right angle side. I think, anyhow, I'll take the tangent of the angle and multiply it by. The distance across and that's what you get is 1.1 millimeters so that's per wheel so two millimeters across the whole thing plus another millimeter for error that you're allowed so anywhere within three millimeters is good yeah now I've measured after all that adjusting hey so I've got a laser going down here and no, you can't really see that but hey I'll shut off the lights I'll show you cool laser lights right so here's laser pointing down along that way right and same thing over here I found another I've got two lasers and laser pointing down along that way so then I measured that side over the measured the Driver's side, very carefully, and it's one millimeter, one like 1.2 millimeters toe in over there. Measure this side very carefully, and it's less than a millimeter toe out. So there's a very, very slight toe in, and it says the toe in should be this much, plus or minus this much, right? So basically flat. <coughs> so this is two millimeters toe in over the whole oh where am I sorry this is two millimeters toe in over the whole thing plus or minus three millimeters so if you're one millimeter out and one millimeter in doesn't matter so right now it's slight in about a half millimeter in over the whole system which is within specifications for the whole thing right and I'm happy I'm happy with that I'm Pretty sure it'll drive straight down the road. Camber is right. Caster is right. This one here wasn't correct. The other side, I just lucked out when I put it all together. The camber and caster were both within specifications. I could have dicked with this camber a bit on this side, but I didn't bother because, you know, it's close enough. Now, what to do about the back wheels? I forget what happened back there now. I think... I think they're pretty close to right, but the, the camber is likely not right because I was doing the mathematics wrong. So I'll give that a try. I'll just go back and see about setting up the camber on the back wheels. Because I think that as far as the pointing of them is, they're all right. Maybe I'll just go and check on that. Anyhow, I'll see. Yeah, so now I just measured there with the laser stuff and both wheels on the back seem to be straight, which I think is within specifications for them. It's supposed to be a small amount of toe in, but then the allowable uh, back wheel, rear axle, toe in per wheel, zero degrees to 10 minutes. So it's supposed to be like, that'd be one millimeter, well, zero degrees to 10 minutes. Here, I got a point in the right way. One millimeter in for each wheel so but it's supposed to be at zero so they are at zero I'm happy with that and now the camber on the back wheels I have to I'll recipher this because I had it wrong half a degree yeah so 50 minutes which is just about a degree plus or minus a half a degree I'll figure out the distance for that and let you know. So here now, the camber is minus 50 minutes, right? And that works out over the length of the wheel, that's 5.52 millimeters. So the top should be 5.52 millimeters further out than the bottom. The bottom should be in by 5.52 millimeters. Plus or minus, where is it? 30 minutes so that's 
5.52 plus half of that would be, so if it was an 8, 8 or 9, we're all right, and anywhere 5 to 8 millimeters is okay. Or actually anywhere from 3 to 8 millimeters is within specification. I'll just double check those. Yeah, so there, camber on the back wheels now is adjusted. Both of them are the same, 8 millimeters. There are 8 millimeters. The bottom is 8 millimeters. The top is 8 millimeters farther in than the bottom. So they, they go like that, right? By 8 millimeters. Now, the uh, things are the negative 0.5 degrees or 50 minutes or whatever it is there. And what, what's negative? I don't know. <laughs> Plus or minus. But it won't go the other way. So that must be, must be what it wants. Anyhow, it's 8 millimeters. They're good. I think I've finished, I think I've got the wheels aligned. That was a little bit of a project, more than I thought it would be. Anyway, but they seem to be all right now, so it should drive straight, straight down the road. And I will check, and uh, then it does say that if you don't get everything lined up just right with the wheels and the steering wheel, then just pull the steering wheel off and uh, put it on the right spot which is what I did. So, anyhow, that's, that's that. I don't know whether like the, uh, getting kind of long in the wind, this bit of video magic. So what I'll do, I think, is I'll cut this off here and, uh, you know, put it out to the world so you can see what's going on and enjoy it. Anyhow, there you go. Hope you liked it all because uh, I actually found that kind of interesting. So I'll go ahead and uh, see you next time. Bye for now. Yeah, one more thing before the day is over and before, the, before it's all done. This thing here, like the, uh, I was, uh, waited a long time to get this back on here and then found out that you have to put this on before the bumper goes on. So now, bumper was off, bumper's back on, and this is in place. Yay. Okay. There you go. That's all for this video. Bye for now. Yep, here we are. August 16th. All ready. Uh, it's the middle of August, eh? Or just past the middle of August. And... It's a little bit overcast today. It's supposed to be like this for the rest of the week. Maybe showers on Friday, Thursday, Wednesday today, Wednesday. Yeah. Should be high tide here pretty close. There goes an osprey. I don't know if you can see that. Osprey with a fish. Fish dinner for that guy. That's okay. Yep, high tide today. Not even a soul on the beach. Well, it's not a very nice beach day today, anyhow. Let's see if that osprey comes back. There he is. He's still flying around in circles. I don't know what he's doing. I think he dropped his fish. Oh, dear. Anyway, there you go. Another good day at the beach. And the doggy's got to have a pee on the beach. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't show that, right? Well, well. There we go.